It's Lando and it's the Hip Hop Lab, man. On Detroit's east side, someone was allegedly murdered over some Jordan shoes, man. I'm going to let y'all check out the news clip and let me know what y'all think. This was sad and senseless, man. Detroit, we got to do better. Right now, police trying to track down a cold-blooded killer who shot a young man. It happened this morning at 7 Mile and Gratiot on the east side. The possible motive? A pair of Jordan gym shoes. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner joins us with who police are looking for. Jim. Glenda, the gunman they describe as a black male wearing a gray sweatsuit and left in possibly an older white Mercury Marquis. That would be a sedan. We talked with his victim's family. They say this is ridiculous and sad. Um, anytime somebody uh, takes a, a, another human life, that's considered crazy. Just before 10 a.m., several shots are fired out in front of the store at the corner of Seven Mile and Gratiot. The victim identified by his family is 32-year-old Dale Johnson, who lived in nearby Clinton Township. And it was over what? I'm hearing some shoes. What do you make of that? <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. It's pathetic. It's ridiculous. She got the call that Dale was taken to the hospital, and when she got there, he was gone. Take a look at the scene. Four shell casings marked by police. The victim was shot in the head, chest, and stomach. A gun was also found out here on the scene. Family says Dale didn't deserve this, especially if it was over shoes. Dale is happy. Always smiling, always going out his way to comfort everybody else. Can you rule uh, out that it was Jordan's? I can't uh, confirm or deny whether or not it was over Jordan's or not. Now police are checking for surveillance video. If they get a picture, they're going to give it to us to put it on TV. But again, the suspect description they have is a black male wearing a gray jumpsuit, possibly driving an older white Mercury Marquis. That would be a sedan. Of course, if you have information, give Detroit Police a call right away. Reporting live in Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Such a shame, Jim. Thank you.